Greetings, I'm Hurt Castro, coming to you from our state-of-the-art suspension development center in Colorado Springs. Today, we're gonna to learn how to service these RockShox Solo Air Forks, Boxer World Cup, Lyric, Recon, and Totem. Here are the three steps. First, remove the air spring. Second, service the air spring. Third, reassemble the fork. Unless you've done this many times before, we sure do recommend that you check out these RockShox product manuals, which are on the SRAM website as PDFs. Please print these out and read through them before you put your bike in the stand. Okay, enough preliminaries, let's get down to business. At this point, you should already have the lowers removed from your fork. Verify that all air pressure is removed from the air chamber before proceeding. Unthread and remove the air spring top cap with a 24 mm socket wrench. Remove the fork from the stand and pour any air seal lubricant into an oil pan and replace the fork in the stand. At this point, remove and inspect the Schrader valve. Lubricate it or replace it as necessary. Use your finger to press the air seal head into the upper tube. When you feel it break free, slide it into the upper tube about three millimeters. Remove the air assembly shaft guide retaining ring from the bottom of the left upper tube using internal snap ring pliers. Pull out the air shaft to remove the air spring assembly and shaft guide from the upper tube. Spray isopropyl alcohol on the inside and outside of the upper tube and wipe with a clean rag. Wrap a clean rag around a long dowel and insert it into the upper tube to clean the inside of the tube. Inspect for debris or damage to the tube's inner surface. Remove the negative air assembly from the air shaft. Then, remove the top-out bumper and kick plate from the negative air sleeve. Remove the inner and outer seal head o-rings. Apply a few drops of suspension oil to the new o-rings and reinstall them. If using a pick to remove the o-rings, do not scratch the seal head. Scratches may cause oil leaks. Insert the bottom out bumper and kick plate back onto the air seal head. Lightly grease the seal head internal o-ring. Slide the air seal head sleeve assembly back onto the air shaft, bumpers first. Insert the lubricated air piston into the bottom of the upper tube and slide the lower air piston and sleeve assembly into the upper tube. Seat the shaft guide ring and wavy washer into the upper tube step. Then slide the negative air sleeve into the upper tube and seat the shaft guide base into the upper tube step. Secure the retaining ring into the upper tube retaining ring groove using internal snap ring pliers. Position the retaining ring holes around the retaining ring positioner on the base plate. Verify that the retaining ring is secure in the upper tube. Measure and pour six milliliters of 15 weight suspension oil into the air tube through the crown. Suspension oil in the air chamber lubricates the air seal o-ring during use and maintains the air seal. Insert the top cap into the upper tube and crown and hand thread into the upper tube. Using a 24 millimeter socket wrench, tighten the top cap to 60 inch pounds. Okay, your solar air system is good to go. Thanks for watching.